Hello everyone, welcome to another C-sharp tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you about properties and index properties. Um, we're going to start out by just creating a new class. We're going to call it, say, um, customer. Now, um, if you don't know what properties are, they're basically um, information like different variables that could be contained in a class. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with uh, getter and setter methods. Say, for instance, in our customer class, we might want to have a uh, uh, we'll first have to put this in the class. <laughs> um, Say we have a name field in our uh, customer class, and we're going, and it's private to the class. And say we want to um, access that. Um, from our main, um, we can't actually get that because it's private. Um, it's actually name. Now, uh, the traditional way to actually do this would be to use getter and setter methods, and this is common a lot in Java, which doesn't actually have properties, I believe. But what we would have is we would have a public methods that would be get string or get name, and we would return uh, again. I keep putting it outside there. I think if I do this, so okay. So we have our private string name, and we want to get it. And usually what you do is you would have an accessor method, which accesses the private uh, variable. And then you'd have a mutator method. which would set that. So in order to get the name in this instance, we would get get name. Now this is a perfectly uh, legitimate way to access that information. Um, but properties are this way that C Sharp can kind of make it a little bit easier. So instead of this getting and setting, um, let's just go ahead and set name uh, to Quackware there, just as the default name. But instead of using this, <clears throat> we can create what's known as a property. And a property can just be something like, or this is pretty much how you do it, and um, I'll show you how to access it later. So let's have a, a name property. You just do public string name. And then inside of uh, this, you just have a get and a set kind of construct um, as seen here. And you also have to have a private string similar to this, which will actually store the value. But we're going to create a different one. We'll just call it M name. It can really be anything. Now in our get, we return it. And our set, we set M name equal to value. Now value is basically a built-in C-sharp term that... Um, It'll basically take what you set name as, and it'll set this private thing as it. That makes sense. So now, uh, just to show you, how these two are both going to be the same. Notice how we can do customer dot name, and we can access it directly rather than using a method. And that's what a property pretty much is. So we can both do that, and we can also set it. Uh, and it will keep these changes. And this is a much cleaner way to do it than accessor and uh, mutator methods. So let's run this. Put a read line so it actually stops for us. So notice that. Oh, it looks like because we didn't write anything in there in the beginning, it didn't actually print anything out, which is understandable. So we change that to here. We run it. So quackware, quackware. We change it to program, and it changes it to program. Um, and again, this is just a, 
a really easy to way to do it. Um, like we can also have uh, read-only ones, which is pretty much. Let's just change this to n, and then read-only. And all you have to do with this is you have to remove the set one, so that it pretty much all we can do is get it. If um, and if we try and set it, it'll throw an error, and that's how you do it with read-only. And write only, if you could imagine, all we would do is just have the set thing. So we wouldn't actually be able to read it. We'd only be able to write it. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I just swallowed a fly there. Um, and uh, as you might think, we can also uh, uh, access it from our constructor, uh, which does the same thing uh, as accessing it from main. And that's basic um, properties, but say we want to have uh, index properties. Now, index properties is kind of similar to, say, if you create an int array. Uh, of like size 20, and then you do uh, array, say, 2. So say we want to access the second, uh, I guess, uh, element in our customer class, then we would have to have an indexed array of it. Or uh, have an index property, sorry. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and go back to our customer. Uh, what we have to do is we have to have some sort of private, uh, again, I'm doing it in the namespace, some sort of private variable that stores all this data. So let's say it's a customer array. Um, rather, let's just have it string. Uh, let's make sure it's array. And then in order to access the specific uh, position of it, we would just uh, uh, do this public string since we're returning a string, and then this int position or something like that. And then open close parentheses. And then it would be pretty much the same as uh, this down here. We would just do get and return customer data position. And then set uh, customer data position equals, say, or sorry, value. Now, the important thing is that in our constructor, uh, we have to make sure to initialize this, say, um, all these values in our customer data. So let's just initialize them. This uh, customer data equals new string. Now I'm just putting values in here, but as you know, you can pass it to the constructor. And then my customer data i equals i. Uh, we can cast that to a string. So it'll just uh, print the numbers out. Oh, so let me can't cast it. Uh, int 32 dot uh, what is it? What is it? Blank in here. Uh, <laughs> honestly, uh, do I remember how to cast a string to an end? No parse. Parses a string into a string. What is it? What is it? Hmm. Anyway, uh, that really doesn't matter. But the important thing is that we we'll, we can now access uh, information. Say uh, we can get the position of uh, the customer information or the customer data that we want by using this uh, indexed thing. And if I remember how to cast it, oh, two string, of course. Okay. So say we want to access the zero one, just console dot right line. Customer zero, so this should print out zero, I believe. Let's make sure to put this up here. Run it. Zero. Okay, great. Uh, because I only did right there. 
So that is basically how you do properties and index properties. Sorry, it's a little bit uh, weird on this one. Uh, I haven't actually done C Sharp in a while. I've been working on Android. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I uh, hope you learned something. hope I explained everything well. Um, make sure to comment, rate, subscribe this video. Uh, thanks for all your guys' support. Uh, this is Quackcore signing out.